Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. My name is Saska and this is Saska Digital Budgeting. In today's video, we are doing the end of month check-in for July. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, so end of month update for July. Who's ready to see what we made what kind of progress we made in the month of July. I am, don't know about you. So we're gonna be switching out some bills for a 1K slip. We're gonna be condensing our funds, but then we're also gonna be seeing what kind of progress we made in the month of July and see if there's any uh, negative progress, which not to say it's a bad thing because I know I spent some money. There's a couple of categories that I definitely spent money in that are gonna be negative and that's okay. but. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right on in. So I've got all my beginning balances here. And then down here at the bottom, we ended the month of July at $21,116. That is not including the prorated move-in expenses, like my prorated month um, rent, or the prorated rent and then like the deposit and whatnot. Um, I decided to just take that out because well, I I mean, I knew I was going to spend it, so I know it's not in the thing. It's fine. It's fine that I'm not tracking it. I'm going to be a little bit adaptable with when it comes to my month, uh, month ahead binder or my phantom roommate binder or whatever you want to call it. So I did take out that, like, it was like $1,650. I didn't include it in the total just to be completely transparent because it is what it is. So, um, so we'll get to the month ahead binder when we get to it. But anyway, so we are going to start out, I think, with the month ahead binder because I know I have money to switch out in that binder, and then I'll have money to consolidate the other binders with it. So we're going to jump in here into my Phantom Roommates binder here. Um, so let's actually give myself a little bit extra space to work with. So my Phantom Roommates binder in my paycheck number two July of July stuffing, I did mention that I consolidated the um, categories in this binder down to three. So I already did that. The money's already been consolidated. I did the math. I crunched the numbers and I figured out that I only actually need to be saving for three. So the vet bills, the cat stuff, and then the internet, the money that was in those categories just got shifted into the other category, categories. So it's still in the binder. They're just in different categories and those three, those three categories are no longer in it. So the money is still in there. So we should still see progress in here because I haven't paid the month of August bills just yet. So we haven't seen that money come out yet. So we're going to jump on in here and to rent now rent we started out i don't know how much we started out with the total for the month ahead binder was 4605 so we're going to be doing a running total for the binder because that makes my brain happier than keeping different categories and the entire binder so we're going to do a running total here and we're going to oop, pull all this money out so and see what we can do in here so 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's two thousand dollars right there. I knew it had a lot of ones because I consolidated and, and I was moving the stuff around and I was already in here recently, so I knew it was gonna get two one K slips. So we got that there to start. And then let's see what I've got in the back. I've got definitely some stuff to do here. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. Hmm. We're going to do this. Yeah. So that should be 200. Let me double check that. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 85, 90, 95, 200. Yep. Okay. So we're going to pull one and two. Hundred dollars there. I'm gonna put all of this money over here. So see, we already got we got already got money to play with. Look at that. See, I told you. So organize all of this here. 
keys and then we're gonna find out what our total is in here because i know i did add money into this in the month of july just once so we have one two three four five thousand dollars right there one two three four hundred four hundred four twenty four forty four forty five so five thousand four no wait no i'm jumping ahead of myself five thousand four hundred and forty five because we're adding all of these up i'm getting ahead of myself already but uh i don't know if you saw that stock but it was like this thick trying to stuff it in this envelope was a uh, pull it out of this envelope was uh, not fun so i'm happy that this is a little bit thinner get that in there and then the next category in the month ahead binder is utilities i think there's a little bit to switch out here let's see 50 70 80 90 95 100 Grab a hundred dollar bill, so that's one, two, three, four hundred. And then the last one in here is power. And let's see what we can do here. So looks like I've got some 50s. Okay, I've got some 50s. So one, two, no, 51, 52, excuse me. So in here we have one, two, three, four. 500. So we've got 6,345 in the month ahead binder. And we started off, like, actually started off with 4,605. So that's progress of $1,740, which is correct because that is what I added in my month ahead binder stuffing. So that is all squared away. Now we got some money to play with. So we're gonna jump on in here to my higher priority binder. This is where we're gonna really see the negatives coming in. Cause I paid, I paid school tuition for the fall. So we're jumping into school. It's not gonna be $3,000. I already know that. So let's find out how much I paid for school. So we have 1,000, 102, 300, 350, 355. <sighs> Excuse me. $1,355. Sounds about right. So 3160. So I did the I did the maths wrong. Minus 1355. So that's negative 1805, which sounds about right. So, yeah, because we did do a little spending. Well, it's not really, I mean, it's spending, you know, tuition, because, yeah, enough said. So on to main savings. Main savings started out with $3,604. Let's find out if we can do anything in here. Doesn't look like it. So we have one, two, three thousand, one hundred, two, three, four, five, five fifty, five seventy, five seventy five, five seventy seven. Yep. And when part of my moving expenses came out of here for some of the things that I needed around the house, and that's okay. So start it off with 3604. Three, so we are negative $27 here, which is since we added in both paychecks the 10%, you know, we made up some of the difference of what I spent. So negative 27. That's actually not that bad. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. So month ahead. Let's see what we got in here. 51. 20, nope, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna get a five for that. So in here we have one, two, three, 320, 325. So 325, which keep in mind that I, every month, at least once a month, pull the money in this category and move it to the month ahead binder. So the um, it's, you know, what, $1,300, $1,400, less 
which is fine because that's literally what I put into the month ahead binder in July. So it's expected. That is okay. It balances in the end. So just for posterity, $1,400 <laughs> got moved over to the month ahead binder. So this number really isn't real because the money still exists. So that's cool. Let's see. Vacation. We started out at 1650 and that's 51 for another $100 bill in here. So we've got 1000 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, $750. So 1750 So that is positive 100 which is pretty standard. Almost feel like, I don't know. I don't remember if I didn't add to this one paycheck because I had three pay, no, I had three paychecks in June, not three paychecks in July, Never mind. I'm forgetting what month it is. Uh, up next is auto. Auto started out at 170. So in here, let's see what we can do. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. So we have $220 in here. So that is positive $50. Not too shabby. And up next is emergency fund. We started off at $685. Not really sure. Let's see, 10. That's 5, 10, 20. 20, 30, 50, 100. And 50, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, hello. Stop it. It's freaking out on me. Which is positive 65. Because I added that random like little tritzy bit last uh, last paycheck instead of adding a full fifty because I was just like let's make it an even like by fifty number. All right, new car. We have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Love that when it works out just like that. So new car. We have one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. Try to stick on me. She tried. Did I say 800? One, two, three, four, five, eight. Yes. Okay. They tried to stick on me, and I got so uppity about them trying to stick on me that I forgot how much I counted. Go figure. 800. So positive 70. So we're still making little, little bits of progress here and there. So that's it for my higher priority binder. Let's go on over to the lower priority. So, starting out with me and mine. Let's see what we got here. So, hundreds aside. Don't look like we have anything to switch out. All right, so we have 100, 2, 3, 400, 450, 470, 480, 485. And that's just math I'm not trying to do. So, minus 28. All in all, not that bad. I added money into it every paycheck, but then I also took some money out for the uh, moving things that I just didn't think of. Random. Random has a solid $20 in it. I don't even have to think about it. Or $40, excuse me. Because, uh, girl, I already know. So, we're negative 275 in here. Yeah, I spent some money in here. 100%. Those little things that I just didn't think about. I don't know why, because every time I move, I always know that there are some things that I know I'm going to end up needing to get, and I just didn't. So, whatever. It's fine. Gifts. Gifts has 100. It started out at 177. Looks like it still has 177. 150, 70, 75, 76, 77. Yep, 177. I didn't add anything in the month of July. Two gifts, which is okay. Because it is, it is a lower priority because, you know, I don't buy gifts for anybody. It's fine. New tech started out at 262 Another one that I spent money out of. 
So we have 50, 70, 80 dollars in here. Which is negative 182, which is a okay. There's money well spent for a little bit of peace of mind. Medical 191. I don't actually know if I added anything into this or not. No, I did. I added ten dollars. Fifty, seventy, ninety, one hundred. Which is gonna bring our total up to two oh one, it looks like. Yeah, sad little two oh one. So I added ten dollars. Hey. Ten dollars adds up if you keep adding and keep adding and keep adding, so not mad about it. And then in social, social is going to be dipping. I haven't taken the money out of for my friend's birthday weekend. I only probably spent maybe $20, $25. Honestly, I actually thought I was going to spend a lot more. I didn't. So we have $50, $60, $65 in here. So that's minus five, which is okay. Because it's guilt-free spending money. That's what it's there for. I keep saying it over and over again in every single video when I get to it because I have to keep reminding myself that it's guilt-free spending money. So, all right, on to the 2K savings challenge in here. So we have 1,000. See what we can do in here. I can switch out these two tens for a 20. So we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390. which looks like a positive $130 to me, but I'm gonna double check myself because that's what we do. So we do indeed have a difference of $130 in here, which is great. Up next is the 5K savings challenge, which we didn't add anything to last month. We had priorities elsewhere, so we still have $2,000, so that's good. $2,000 in there, that hurt now, which was no change. I knew this month was gonna be a weird one, and that is A-OK. -okay. Didn't add anything to the AK, so that's still a zero balance. So, let's go ahead and total it all up and see how much we ended the month with. Since we started the month with $21,116, let's find out what our ending total is okay and I will speed you right on through this so you don't have to wait through it all all right all right so we ended the month at nineteen thousand five hundred and sixty dollars which is more than all right with me, considering that I spent almost $2,000 in tuition alone, which was basically that entire negative balance. And then there was some spending for moving and whatnot, and you know, we made up for it for, with the money that we did add in from those two paychecks. So we're good. So 1,000 or 19,560, that is going to be a difference of 1,000. $556. So actually we made progress by adding money in those two paychecks because my my tuition for the fall was 1800 or close to 1800. So that is a okay with me. It could have been far worse. But we're okay with it. We're right at the $20,000 mark in savings. That's cool. So that is what the progress was that we made and now we're just gonna do a little county count of all of this money so we only switched out two 1k slips so this in total should also be two thousand dollars so let's find out okay I mean it's not that bad nice nice little humble two thousand dollars right here that's okay so let's start out we got one hundred two three four five six seven eight nine 950, 1000, that's 1000, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, mm. 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 
Alrighty. $2,000, because we switched out those two 1K slips in the month ahead, my Phantom Roommate binder. So, not too shabby, y'all. I hope you could hear that. My cat just went scurrying across the floor with a crinkle ball. Right. That's just a common theme in my life now. Crinkle balls. When I moved, I found all of the crinkle balls, and she has yet to hide them underneath all of the furniture. So, I have that to look forward to for the next few months. Anyway. Not too shabby. Little bit of a change. That's okay. I had one paycheck that was like bare bones, base, base wage, and then the other paycheck, which was like what I had been working. So we did some spending. We paid tuition. We're good. All righty. So that is what I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you like the, uh, I don't know. It's like an ASMR. I know some people think it's ASMR. Um, thing. I mean, I guess it is for me. I love watching these videos, so, and I guess y'all do too. So, I will catch you next week for paycheck number one of August. And don't worry, I am still planning on doing a lovely video explaining this further. I'm probably just going to tie it in when I do a stuffing of it. So, probably... The week after next is probably when I'll do a little stuffing of it and I'll break it all down and I'll explain all of the things and how I got to where I was getting to. So without further ado, I will leave you here. Y'all have a marvelous weekend. I hope you made some progress in your monthly goals, whether financial or personal or you know work or whatever it is. Goals are great regardless of what they are. So hope you did well there. I hope you enjoy your weekend and you do something nice for yourself. That you enjoy yourself. Treat yourself, do your thing. All right? I will see you next week for the first paycheck of August. All right, y'all? Y'all have a fantastic one. Peace.